Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be talk about how you can set up a Stripe webhooks into your Bubble app. So let's start. First we understand what is API in the context of the Stripe that will help you more understand what is actually the webhook is. So if you see the this picture that Stripe have, this is the first one. Integration at your side, you will call an API at a Stripe, that's it. So whenever you require anything, for example, check out, for example, get the product, call the API. But what happened, just take an example of subscription. At the very first time, you have set up the subscription. End of the each month, you need whether that payment is done or not. Or like users pay you or not. So how can you do that? Because you cannot schedule your API for each user for end of the month. That is too problematic. So Webhook simplify that. What is happen? You set up a one URL at your side, client side and attach to the Stripe. And whenever anything happen on the Stripe side, for example, your customer pay, your customer deny, your customer revoke the subscription, your customer pay the invoice, everything you will receive on that particular URL. And then you can set up your logic. Okay, what I need to do in a particular case or something. Continue with video, I will deep dive into the how you can set up a Stripe webhook into your bubble app. So if you can see for enabling a webhook into your app, you need to first come on the paid plan and it is not possible on the free plan on the bubble. So you need to at least purchase a $29 per month personal plan. So then after go to the setting and go to the API and enable that workflow, this one, and then you can go on your backend workflow, this one, here, this one, and here just click setup one. Just click on new API workflow, give it a name, Stripe, never give a space between the name of the API workflow, it's all small, and make it as a detect request data, and click on the detect data. And just copy that URL, go into a Stripe, go to your developer, and then click on the webhooks. Now, click on add an endpoint just copy paste the url set up simply webhook example nothing just a simple plain text now you need to select the event what is event so uh, if you just click on the select the event there's a lot of event is there one thing you can uh, select all the event and then listen for and uh, whatever happen at above stripe site and that will tell you at a bubble so i will ask you never do it never do it literally no because what happened on a simple checkout product, you get at least four to five event trigger. So all for the four to five, you have to write your own logic, what will happen and not. If you just miss, you will make an extra entry or into that. So just avoid that. Figure out why you need to have a webhook. Webhook are pretty powerful, but at the same time, that will be devastated for your project. It will just break your project completely. So be beware of, of that. Okay, so for example, let's take an example of the, like you have set up a, your subscription. Now you want to trigger whenever user paid that invoice for against the subscription. How can you go into an invoice object? Now here you will select the invoice paid event. So this is the invoice paid event. And also if you just want to, okay, like in an X number of days, for example, three days before any invoice is coming up, you just want to send a reminder to the user one more why your you can also choose invoice dot upcoming so keep though keep two so that is perfectly good for the subscription invoice so and you can even check out the other also based upon your requirement so just for the testing purpose i'm just selecting all just for the testing purpose that's it so i just do that or just you know that and add endpoint that's it so what we will do is this one and now we will just create an event to listen for the bubble okay what we can do we will just uh, create a simple checkout basically that will detect so if you go in my checkout page if you have watched my earlier videos also so when i just this is a one time payment of whenever you click over that it will call the stripe api so we automatically get that you are waiting for the event to happen that will automatically get that particular event because we have captured all the event and that is event is payment underscore intent so this is the event that is particularly happened so you can just save it and almost all the event have a same similar object so you can just save it and based on that particular logic which one uh, that object payment underscore intent or there's another one is there that type payment intent dot type you can uh, write your own logic so in case of the subscription that we are talking about you will get here invoice dot upcoming so see here's the list of all the events this one is the all the event list account that updated and all the type of the all the event charge dot expired charge dot captured whenever uh, any amount is charged so this is sort of a you can read it and figure out what is work for your use case and you can implement it and just click on save that's it your webhook is set up now you don't need to do anything whenever anything happen you will get here one more thing uh, i just want to highlight you know this url this is for the testing purpose but if you are going into production just remove that version or test and initialize 
tax and same update here into the web otherwise you will ne never get your url because this is just a testing url so you need to keep remember that yeah i hope you are able to understand how you can set up a webhook if you have any question whatsoever just comment it or mail me at our anchor at the rate no code talk dot